So here's how you can tell whether Zn plus HCl yields ZnCl2 plus H2, whether this is a redox reaction. And we'll use these rules here to assign oxidation numbers to the equation, and we can tell if we have a redox reaction. Let's give it a try. So free elements, these are elements that only have one type of atom, like Na, Fe, H2, O2, these free elements, they have an oxidation number of zero. Zinc is a free element, zero. H2, right here in our list, free element, zero. Then when we look at something like hydrogen here, hydrogen, when it's bonded to a non-metal, chlorine's a non-metal, that's going to be plus one. And then chlorine, chlorine's in group 17, and it's going to be negative one, except when it's bonded to these elements here. So most of the time, it'll be negative one. Each one of these, negative one. The zinc, that's not on our list. That's a transition metal when zinc's bonded here to another element. So we could say two times the negative one, that's negative two. And all of these, they need to add up to zero since this is neutral. So we have negative two, we need a positive two on the zinc for this to all add up to zero. So that's the oxidation number on the zinc. If you need help with oxidation numbers, jump over to my website here lots of practice, and lots of other stuff about redox if you need help with that. So at this point, we can see that the oxidation numbers, they change. Zinc goes from zero to plus two. Hydrogen goes from plus one to zero. Chlorine, it stays the same. We said that's that negative one. This number got smaller, plus one to zero. That got reduced. That's our reduction. Up here, we went from zero to plus two. That got bigger. That's oxidation. If we have reduction and oxidation, we do have a redox reaction. That's it. This is Dr. B. Zn plus HCl, that is a redox reaction. Thanks for watching.